Hello everyone, today we are going to study chapter 7. In this chapter, we will talk about translucent and opaque objects. Are you ready? Let's get started! For a quick review from our last topic, what do you know about light? Yes, very good. Light enables us to see things around us. Another? Correct. Also, there are different light sources aside from our sun such as Torch, lamp, candle, stars, and fire. Before we will start, let us read first our vocabulary words. Please repeat after me. Translucent. Opaque. Shadow. Blur. Again, translucent. Opaque. Shadow and blur. When we say translucent, it is an object that allows some light to pass through it. Examples are this, frosted glasses. Next, opaque. Opaque is an object that does not allow light to pass through it. Examples are box, human, or car. Next, shadow. It is the dark area behind an object caused by light being blocked by something. So in other words, they are found behind the object. Examples are shadow of a ball, shadow of a box, and shadow of a person. Next, blur. When we say blur, it is something that you cannot see clearly. We are already done talking about transparent objects, right? For today's topic, we will learn about translucent object. Translucent objects, they are objects that allow some light to pass through them. Remember, they only allow some light to pass through them. They are not the same with transparent object because transparent object allows all light to pass through them okay now objects that are found behind the translucent objects appear to be blurred because they only allow some light to pass through them now examples of translucent objects are tracing paper sunglasses which are used by us humans to protect our eyes from the glaring sunlight. Also, jellyfish and frosted glasses. Frosted glasses are used to have some privacy. And now, we will talk about opaque objects. Now, opaque objects, these are objects that do not allow light to pass through them. Remember, do not allow light to pass through them. Since... They do not allow light to pass through them. We cannot see through them. Examples of opaque objects are books, bricks, and cup. Since light travels in a straight line and opaque objects do not allow light to pass through them, they produce shadow. Now, shadow from our vocabulary words, it is the dark area behind the opaque objects and remember the size and shape of the shadow depends on the direction and the distance of the light sources okay it's review time let's try if you can answer my questions okay first one what are the three types of object very good it's transparent, translucent, and opaque objects. Now next, what type of object allows all light to pass through them? Very good, it's transparent object. Since they allow all light to pass through, we can clearly see through them. Okay, next question. What type of object allows some light to pass through them? Okay, it's translucent object. Since they allow only some light to pass through, we can only see blurred image. 
Okay, next. What type of object do not allow light to pass through them? Okay, it's opaque object. Since they do not allow light to pass through them, they only make or form shadow. Remember, shadow is the dark area formed behind opaque object. Okay, now that's the end of our lesson for today. See you next time. Bye-bye.